Let me just show you a piece of this heaven. Good morning, everybody. It is a new day and I woke up in a most beautiful place on earth, at least for Vico and me. Currently got dressed, wearing this little Magda Butrum assemble and my favorite little sunglasses well that i just i'm obsessed with since before fashion week so manga book from swim this is part of the swimming suit this is kind of like a beach skirt situation can be even dress if you wrap it up here we're heading to breakfast after that pool day beach day everything day hello my lovelies and welcome to another video today i'm starting from a well swimming suit first of all we are still in bed it's before 9 a.m which for holidays is early especially considering that it's basically like 4 a.m back home got up early already had my first coffee in bed which kindly was provided by filippo getting dressed getting ready and hitting the beach and breakfast of course very important this morning let me just show you a piece of this heaven. So this is the view that we get from the bed. We really love it. This is our patio of our water villa. And yesterday, just in front of there, there were so many dolphins playing for like two hours. I was just lying here. I was reading my book when I spotted them. And then we really, really enjoy spending the afternoons here. Whereas the beach we spend usually kind of in the more community area where everybody else is as well. Of course, my face looks way whiter than the rest of my body. That's because I put an extremely high, the highest possible SPF I can find just to protect my face from tanning. Well, it still tans, but more to protect it from the UV um, ray damage. Currently just getting ready for breakfast, as you can see. I'm actually wearing my Hansa G swimming suit, which probably you will see. And this reformation dress, if I can still find it available, I will link it below. I just need to zip it first. Phil, can you help me? So it's like a really cute little dress on my face. Well, I have a few different things that I am using. I cannot see it. Is it in front of me or is it not? Ah, here. It's this. Sisley SPF 50 for my face and then I already applied on my face this ultraviolet SPF 50 supreme screen in all honesty our favorite favorite sunscreen is actually by Dior but we brought SPF 15 and it's just simply not enough guys it's so hot here now you probably know that Filippo and I we like to come to Maldives pretty much every April at the end of quarter one of the year because we like to kind of reset our brains and just make some plans summer fridays this is a lip butter balm in sweet mint it's really really delicious i love it for my eyebrows and my lashes i just use the typology serum so we always like to come here to reset and i promise you that we're here pretty much every year around the same time and it's never been this hot and so i have no clue what's going on i mean it's really really not single cloud on my hair i wanted to show you what i've applied on my hair so i almost ran out of this product i actually need to restock this kerastase nutritive eight hour magic night serum is insane i apply it before going to bed every night and i'm also applying a lot of this scale infused wow color wow leave-in treatment for fragile damaged hair because i think it's really really nutritive i have this mini of chanel sublimage i love this range this is my favorite chanel range and it is the eye essence i'll just put a little bit around my eyes because i think like that eye around eye skin is so sensitive especially when it's getting exposed to the sun even if i wear sunglasses pretty much all day long it's very very necessary and that's the obviously area that I want to put the best care in. Are you ready for a little breakfast chat with Filippo? Let's get going. Okay, breakfast time. Filippo went to get some things 
for us and I mean this is basically my beach hair I realized I never were almost never really wore these sunglasses they are from if I'm remembering well last year's Coco Neige collection and I really like them I think they're quite cute it's just that obviously when I'm sunbathing I don't really use them so because they're so cute and lovely like for when I'm sitting here at breakfast but when the sun hits really hard and especially if I'm like reading the book guys you wouldn't even recognize me I obviously first of all have these they have like a really really good polarized lenses like if I look at my phone my look my phone looks all distorted when I'm looking um, with these glasses because the lens I always wear this hat and I know you might be wondering that I always wear the same hat but the thing is this really really protects me from the Sun in terms of like my face especially because well I anyway always liked to really protect my face from the sun in a way that I my 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 face is always like at least two shades lighter than my body uh, this year especially even more so I'm doing like extra precaution because you guys know that I did two lasers on my face this year already and the last one was 6th or 7th of March if I remember well something along those lines thank you very much love of my life I also have this Hermes scarf here. It actually matches really well. I think my swimming suit and also these glasses because it's in these pastel bluey colors. It's so beautiful. I can't remember really when I got this one at all, but I have quite a few Hermes scarves and I really love to use them, especially when I'm on holidays for kind of like, especially because I recently just colored my hair and it doesn't really, I guess, matter. It's okay. It's not like it's going to get washed out immediately, but sun and the sea, they do affect the color. And I've always been like this, even when I was a student, if I colored my hair, I'd always protect it and cover it a little bit more because I wanted to preserve the color as much as possible. So, yeah. You know what I love? These oranges, baby. No, but I know because you love it and you never drink orange juice normally. Yeah, because it doesn't have any... Pulpa. Yeah. Yeah? And it's fresh. Usually fresh juice, they, it always comes with little pieces. I love pieces. it. I, I love I it so much. Anyway, to you and me. Uh, Cheers. I'm a bit you found me in a second. Do you know what you want to eat actually? Yes. Yes? What do you want? Can I have an avocado toast? No eggs. Uh, salmon on top or on the side. Small salad. Yeah, yeah. Could I please have an avocado toast with poached egg? Thank you so much. No salmon for me. Thank you very much. I'm drinking uh, mango juice with berries and chili for orange juice. I actually want to interview you for this channel today. Yes, please, oh, two old lattes, right? Yeah. Excellent. Maybe every day it comes in a different cup. Uh, yeah, but today <laughs> is the right one. Yeah? Yeah. Today is the right cup. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are your three very important things to have perfect holidays? So you mean uh, technically or mentally? What makes my holidays? Give me whatever you want to give me. Okay, for me the most important, the conditio sine qua non mm -hmm. for the perfect holidays is a place where you don't dress up. Yeah, okay. That's for me, holidays. What do you mean by dress up? Can you explain? I mean Ibiza, Mykonos, Monaco, south of France. They're, all, they're not the full holidays to me because you have to book a restaurant, dress up to go out, drive, etc., etc. In Maldives, is the only place on earth where I can come here with no clothes basically or you know like some t-shirts some underwears and, and that's it because for me to not think it's not like i think what i have to wear but it's that the difference in between normal life and real holidays that's mm -hmm. what my brain makes my brain understand that these holidays when you don't dress up yeah probably not the only place on earth but the only one is the only have visited. no it's the only one well, name me, know, name me another one. Maybe Mauritius. We've never been. Ah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, Seychelles and Mauritius probably is the same thing. Yes, yes. But Maldives, there is really nothing to. I'm sure that Seychelles and Mauritius, you can dress up, take a car, and go for an adventure. You think? Yes. Because they are big islands. But maybe Maldives, the island is you can walk around. There is nothing to do, and yeah. there is nowhere to go. And I love it. You know? And that's what makes my personally my personal holidays completely holidays. 
That's mm. it. Because we've been to San Bart, we loved it. Yeah. We've been to Santorini, we loved it. But there is always a little bit of stress that makes different. Car, getting in the car, finding the parking, exactly. booking a exactly. table. Here you don't have to book, you don't have to do anything. And it's five days yeah. of heaven for me. We've been here already for two days, actually, and I haven't vlogged it, so we just did nothing, I'll tell you that much. We wake up in the morning, we have the breakfast here, we go to the beach for a few hours, we have a swim here. I mean, when I say to the beach, everything is a beach, so I mean like this kind of um, general beach. We have lunch, after the lunch we go to our villa, where we basically spend the afternoon at the beach as well next to our water villa. It's so funny because like everything is so shallow, you can pretty much walk to the other side of the island, but close to our water villa is a huge reef and like if you go two steps, it goes immediately like 100 meters deep. And I told you yesterday we saw dolphins dancing. It was so beautiful. Then there are things that makes, that elevate the holiday. The, your experience in terms of uh, hospitality. Uh, in terms of hospitality. Tell me. Um, for example, the service, mm -hmm. for example, the food, for example, the coffee, that for us is quite important. So the base is amazing because you are on an island. Then you can be lucky because, to be honest, there are resorts where the experience is top, top level, 10. And then there are resorts where the experience is 6, yeah. Seven, I guess you have what you pay. You know, there are. It's like not a, always. It's like Sometimes everything. Sometimes you pay yeah. too much, and but you still usually, don't get it. usually, it depends. You know, there are five stars hotel, four stars hotel, three stars hotel. So it depends what you can do. But um, the view in Maldives, you can pay one, two, three, four, five. Is always the same. The Maldives are very democratic. Because wherever you go is beautiful. Yeah, it's true. Because the sea is always beautiful. Exactly. The sea and the beach is always beautiful. Then I said, the food is very important. I mean, here where we are, it's, you know, we go every night to the same Japanese restaurant, which is very, very high level. The breakfast is great. Yeah. Coffee is the great. The food is insane, actually. Like, if I think about it, the food is insane. One thing I have to say to you guys, if you can, best best time to come to Maldives is now yeah because we being October November we've been Christmas and you know during wind during European winter you will have a rain here and there if you come here now March slash April it's guaranteed if I'm not wrong the monsoon season is in the summer, no? Between April and September. So actually we're just getting very lucky because November is supposed to be better weather, but it's not. I'll tell you what's important for me for holidays, not that anybody asked me, clearly, but... What is baby very important? I will, uh, I will answer, because it is my own important? channel. Let's just never forget. Um, what's very important for me is the comfort of actually being able to rest without being uncomfortable. It's very hard to say, so I don't need you. Hello, good morning, thank you so much. Thank the salmon much. one is here. So what's for me important? It doesn't, I know, I know, I know people are gonna be like, oh sure. It doesn't have to be a five-star hotel, but you know what it has to be? It has to have a very comfortable bed to sleep in. It has to have a, like a good AC. If I'm hot, it needs to work. Not like that if I'm hot, it's too cold or too hot. You know what I mean? That you can set the conditions to be perfectly enjoyable. Like the temperature, the bed needs to be comfortable, the coffee needs to be tasty. I just need to be comfortable. So I need to have a comfortable sun bed that I can adjust to a perfect like way that it suits me. And in that, I'm very much a princess. princess. Do you have any questions for me? What makes you understand that you are resting? So what makes the holidays worth it how do you understand that you're resting i'll tell you something i did this acupuncture remember last year yes, in, london. Yes, in london and um he checked my vitals and he checked, he said wow your body is in constant flight fight fight not flight 
whatever. Ocean flight, by the way. <laughs> it's constantly fighting. Yeah, it's non-stop working. Your heart is beating so fast. My blood pressure is low. My heart's beating so fast, and it's always working. Like my body is always working. I can feel the effects on my body of this constant like hustle, and if I'm sincere with you guys. I can feel it only when I'm in this kind of like nature environment and I'm not a very like nature obsessed person but what I have realized that despite the fact that I'm a true city girl because maybe can you imagine me living anywhere else but in the city no you know what I mean yes I actually really thrive in nature yeah and what I really I'm love actually the opposite by the way what I really love more than anything is when I'm in St. Moritz is when I'm in a place like this. Well, obviously those are very luxury places, but it doesn't have to be a luxury place. It can be like any kind of mountain or field or nature place. That's when I'm really resting and I feel really detached. I mean, look at that, a shark. Oh, wait, wait, it went down. I saw it, it, was, it had a black fin, black you know, tip You fin. know guys, these people that they just say something, look at the shark and, the, and then, the, oh, it's gone. <laughs> So you saying that what makes you rest is some more it's a beautiful nature. place. Nature. Nature. Yeah. It's really bizarre, no? So are you are you resting these holidays? I'm getting there. I tell you something also that you're not gonna like. Yes. The only way for me to truly rest. Yeah. And this is me being a woman that is an independent, self-prioritizing woman. Yeah. I have to be by myself to truly rest. No problem. It should be a nature, a human nature, you know, because you don't have to pay attention to anyone. If you, I mean, we don't have kids, but I'm sure that you can only rest when you are without the kids that you love, you know, or without your husband. That's a proper resting. 100%. For everyone. So well, yeah, not it makes for sense. everyone, because for example, my mom and my sister, they don't like to be alone. Yeah, I guess it depends, yeah. In all honesty, I love to be alone and my favorite thing and my best rest is when I'm alone. And I think you're the same. Yeah, yeah. The breakfast is 10 out of 10. What is your one non-negotiable thing in your partner? Besides loyalty. Loyalty, I think, is a very, more like a trait. Let's not say like, oh, they have to be mm. not, you know. There is one thing that for me is more important than loyalty. In the human nature, loyalty is not always something that is required it's, it depends but what it is for me uh, non-negotiable is respect respect on on any sort of capacities a respect of the space the respect of the person a respect of other people work needs a respect of uh, rules yeah respect of any kind of respect if you have that and you see that when people deal with waiters, when people deal with uh, flight attendants, when people deal with uh, anyone, yeah, I agree. old people, kids. I agree. So for me, to own the respect of other people, you need to respect everything is moving. And that's for me the most important thing. Then you can be loyal, less loyal, you can be grumpy, you can be strong, you can be a pain in the ass sometimes, you can be wherever you want, but if the base, is respect in any sort of yeah then uh, then in anything else is kind of allowed because i think that if you are respectful then you are a good uh, you know a good person i, I think don't that's know. a typical virgo thing like you just need respect yeah no i don't need it i think it's uh it's like that it's not like i need you to respect me i don't need that it's a mandatory <laughs> If you don't, then it's uh, you shouldn't even be, you know, in this planet. You should be somewhere else because respect is the fundamental of everything. And then there are many, many, many other things. You know, I was watching this thing on Instagram yesterday. How about how important it is to have next to you people that add values and not people that Absolutely. take take you down. Absolutely. You know, you don't have to be surrounded by people that is taking you down. It's super dangerous. Super dangerous. But Just we are the we are basically the product of our environment. You know? It's no, like, I know, but you know, there is a lot of people, a lot of couples that are 
in competition mm -hmm. that are, and this is so wrong, you know, for me the most important, don't surround yourself with people that take you down. When a friend try to take you down, you just need to get out of that space because it works so badly on your brain, it's not even a joke. It's better if you stay alone. You need people that support you, no matter what. And you know, also, I like to be surrounded by people and you are the proof. You know, my future wife is smarter than me. And I love that because it's a learning lesson every day. I can't have uh, someone, uh, you Thank know. Thank you very much for that. But you see, I don't think that I'm smarter than you. I think that we have different strengths. No, I think, like... I, think, I think you're smarter, baby. You are like uh, way smarter than me. But uh, I have very smart friends. I have very smart people. So wait, why are we surrounding ourselves with you? You know, I don't know. I'm also kind of smart. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. We are not way smarter than you. You, first of all, you have the most cool head all the time. You never lose it. You're always very, very like, you ha I think like you're so much wiser also in dealing with people. I don't know. I think I just communicate more clearly than you. Like I'm very clear communicator. You, whatever you say to people, first of all, because you're a man as well, because being a man is easier in this world. We all know that. Um, whatever you communicate, people, are never getting mad at you or never misunderstand you in a way that they think it comes from a bad place. Because I'm a woman, you know, when women say something, immediately you can be perceived as... You know, it's, that also has to do with the reputation, you know? It's important, and I don't know how old you guys there, but uh, it's very important during your life that you build a reputation. Because reputation is the most expensive thing you have. Reputation is everything. Reputation is everything. Because you, if you have the trust of the people you deal with, then your life would be easier. Mm. You know, because the trust and the word is everything. But if you have a bad reputation, then uh, it's a little bit uh, more difficult. I deal with a lot of people, powerful, less powerful. And uh, I have the trust because I... I work on that because I always deliver. Yeah, the word is a word. And the word is a word. But you also like that. A word is, a, is very important to you as well. 100%. I never promise if I cannot deliver. And that's it. And you know, everything we're saying is not easy. But to surround yourself with the people that loves you and support you is the most important thing. Now, I'm going to ask you one very juicy question that you're not expecting. And I'm not sure you're going to want to answer, but let's try, my love. Yes. Because we have a lot of, obviously, audience going through different kind of phases of their lives, right? Mm -hmm. Some people are single, some are married, some are going through divorce, some are going through a breakup, some just fell in love and met a new person, and, you know, some just got married, etc. What was the worst breakout, and when was the last time someone broke your heart? The last time that my heart was broken, for different reasons, mm -hmm. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was before you. No, not before you, before you. And that's my next point. Whenever there is a broken heart situation, you're just getting out of a very toxic environment. I will answer also the question. The last time I got my heart broken was 10 years ago. It was a very bad heartbreak, I think. And it wasn't because there was no love. That's why I think like it doesn't have to be like because the love ends, but Sometimes you love each other so much, but if you Which understand, is even worse. yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I broke the relationship off because I knew that in the future it wouldn't work. Basically, what I really think is the heartbreak was so big and so strong that I could feel a physical pain. Why? Because you were 20 years yeah. old. Hurting love, it's for teenagers. Because when you grow, and you saw it already when you are 20, when you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50, I don't know. But that if you grow in my personal experience, I was that guy when I was 20, you know, butterfly. Uh, and now the way I love is completely different. And I think it's much more mature because love should not be a painful business. Love should be light, 
beautiful, easy. It doesn't happen when you're 20, for sure. But when you are on your 40s, in your 50s, if you do the right journey of life, you and I wish you to get there because I am there, which is that beautiful place where you love deeply someone and there is no pain. pain. There is just love. And that's beautiful. I don't have butterflies. I don't have, I have just pure love, pure respect, pure need of being with you. But maybe no pain, no jealousy, no where is she, no what type of what are you doing, not uh, what time did you come home last night, not you're not going there, not what are you Thank wearing, God, my... not all of those things that are allowed when you are in your 20s, yeah. but not when you are a little bit older. And as I said, I wish you to get there because I am in a space, also thanks to a very smart woman, where I don't have to justify myself, where I can work with no stress, where I can do my things, where I can basically be myself. And that's what for me true love is, to have someone that let you be who you really are, which is how you make me feel, and I hope that's how I make you feel. You make me feel exactly like that. I'm a so, zero jealous you know is, person, and, and no Filippo is zero jealous person. But I don't think that's just because we are not jealous people. I think it's because we give each other 100% no reason to be jealous. I think that maybe what I was trying to say, and while I'm talking, you know, my brain is working, starting, is that if there is drama in any way in your relationship, it doesn't mean it's wrong, but it means that it has to be worked on. Because drama should be outside your door. I allow drama in my work. I allow drama also with my family. I allow, I don't allow drama to come to my home. Yeah. And if I have a drama in my home, that is a big, big problem for me. Yeah. Because my home is a, our, is a sanctuary, is where everything is fine. And if sometimes a drama is knocking the door, because it can happen, you know, yeah. then you just, you know, polish it, you fix it, have... and you're like, okay, okay, tell me what, what's wrong, and then you solve it, easy. The drama comes from the windows, leave from the other door, you know? Can I ask you one more question that I think yeah. would be useful to some of our viewers? So, you know, like in modern psychology, etc., the big topic are like narcissists, toxic relationships, gaslighting, love bombing, all of these things are very, very popular. What would you advise my audience, but also subsequently your... Excuse me, uh, they are our... If they find themselves in a toxic, unhealthy relationship, but it's very hard to leave. If you are in a very wrong environment, you just need to <laughs> change it. How do you take the plaster off? But baby, How do you go cold I don't know, turkey? I don't know, you just put yourself first. Yourself is always the first, uh, the most important thing in your life. I mean, even on the plane, they say first put the mask on yourself, then on your child. You know what I mean? Like you should always make sure that you take care of yourself so that you can take care of other other people. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you cannot love and take care of other people. I think that's a really, really important. You know, there is one non-selfish actually thing. There is the most beautiful verb in uh, any language, which is. Uh, choose you can always choose no matter what <laughs> no matter what you can always choose you do your math and you choose what to do you know when I was a child in uh, my school library there were these books that you can take and I remember the uh, first one I read was a Peter Pan one and I don't know on page three you can choose should Peter go left or right Ah, uh, yeah and then That's you nice. say left and it says go to the page 16 and then it tells you what happens on the page 16 then you i don't know then you go thank you so much and then like should peter choose to go across the bridge or inside of the hole and then you choose and then in the end the end was always different depending on what you chose and that was such a good lesson because i learned that in life you always have choice but the outcome is always different depending on what you choose. Especially when you are someone that is a people pleaser and someone who wants just everybody to be happy and peaceful, you are very likely 
and you can easily end up in a relationship where you're being taken advantage of for your goodness, which is why I think especially important to prioritize yourself. And you know, it also depends how you approach life. You know, life for me uh, is the most beautiful thing, but also because there is, I see opportunities in everything. A place, a person, um, a travel, a trip. Uh, I, I always see an opportunity, wherever I go, whatever people I meet. Obviously, if you stay at home, complaining and feeling sorry for yourself, uh, nothing's gonna happen. I can yeah. guarantee that, nothing. Because nobody's coming out from TV yeah. to tell you, hey, you know, that's the, that is an opportunity for you. It doesn't come from TV, it doesn't come from uh, anywhere else. Yeah. You need to, you know, move, take the car, meet people, take a play, Very go often somewhere. get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know what, I just came to an idea. You know, I did a few times this video where people send me their problems and I give my solutions to them or my view on them. Maybe we can do one where you guys send us your problems. You can do that anonymously as well. And maybe I'll put a little cloud on my Instagram. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you should if not. I'll leave a, like maybe a bubble on Instagram where you can also leave some comments if you want under this video with your problems. And Filippo and I can respond with our solutions to them. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? I would love to do that. And if it's helpful, even more. Even more, same. I think like because I'm a big empath, Filippo tells me actually I need to I need to get a cure for this. No, I don't think you need a cure for this. I just think that for you, you take everything so emotionally. Like Tamara would watch a video of a dog, but not like a bad video, like a sweet video of a dog, and she would cry. No, but it was not a sweet video. The dog that was working like for 11 years or something like that, for army was getting retired and it was his last flight and they were saying like how much he has done but, uh, yeah I, but don't cry now but maybe this dog okay the way i see it this dog has an amazing long long life because 15 years we is don't like deserve a, dogs no we don't and we all agree but he, he served his purpose in this life so you also have to be a little bit Buddhist in this way. You know, you can't just take everything in and in and in and in and in. You know, the best doctors, the best surgeons, they don't go home thinking poor uh, woman. That yeah, maybe that's or... why I quit pharmacy because at work I was having people telling me the stories about I know, but I bad think things is, that were happening to them. I think that is them. a way to work on, on that emotional level, to not take everyone's problems at home. You need also to be like, uh, you know, Otherwise, it's a... Uh... I don't understand how, but I, I, what I try to do to fight the fact that I feel other people's pain and problems so much, I try to then just put this cold front so that nobody can see that. You know what I mean? And then people no, say that I'm a But that's faking it, you know? I think there is a way to work on a really not feel too much when there is nothing you can do. You know, I always tell Tamara, complain when you can change it. If you cannot change it, there is no, there is no reason to a, take it personally, to complain. There is no reason to do. There is nothing you can do. If you can change it, then move the world. You know, move everything you can. Be sad about it. Be sorry about it. Do, do something. But if there is nothing you can do. Uh... The thing about Maldives that is very nice is that when we hear, the morning is always free of charge yeah. you know so the world is waking up in europe is waking up in my two sister hours. is already awake maybe she wakes up at five yeah but uh, so until midday until 12 we are kind of easy you know we can swim we don't have to look at our phone because just fyi we are on holidays yes in terms of place and you know everything is great and we're really relaxing but it's not like uh, we can we, we stop working we always work and that's something that it will never change because we love what we do so for me to come to Maldives for five days and to not look at my phone is not an option because i don't want that i want yeah. to work you know the world is moving especially when you work with the us or with the middle east that they us they don't have holidays no. you know so you need to always working but you know just to wake up here and uh, it's okay to work it's not a big deal at all 
We're this gonna is enjoy uh, our coffee. I'm gonna actually finish some work now. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Love you. Love you more. To us. Guys, we haven't vlogged really much after breakfast today. Do you know why? Because we thoroughly, thoroughly, like, like completely just rested. We just took pictures of this outfit and I'm wearing a really, really gorgeous dress and I will link it below. There is a really beautiful, beautiful sunset as you guys see. <laughs> Bless you. Tonight is our last night at um, Jumeirah in Maldives, the resort here. You see what I was telling you yesterday, this is where we spotted dolphins. They were there for two hours, it was incredible. I got dressed up and we are actually eating in a Japanese restaurant. I just did a tiny bit of makeup. Tonight's actually one night where I decided to go a little bit like a glowy, this whole holiday, I'm not wearing any mascara. There's no mascara and there's no makeup on my eyelids, but I've shown you everything that I've done. I did a little tutorial, so hopefully that will be already up on YouTube Shorts and on my TikTok. I don't know if you follow my TikTok, you should, <laughs> if you don't. I am also wearing this uh, Chanel choker. I have not really worn this necklace that much or that often, and honestly, I don't know how to show you, but it's not the most comfortable necklace of all the necklaces to wear, but it is what it is. I really like it. And I also wore my beautiful Wonder Bag from Miu Miu. Honestly, one of my favorite, favorite brands in the whole entire world. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey in here. I just wanted to show you the dress. This is the dress. I think it's beautiful. But the most beautiful part of it is the back Wonder Bag. These are ants. Philippe and I are suffering with allergy, but it's only the hay fever start of the season, so it's only gonna get worse. Behind me there, if you see some bags, it's because for Get Ready With Me video, I was trying to figure out which bag to style, so yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, I had a very strong intention of vlogging throughout these holidays. It didn't really work out as planned because of course I was mainly resting and now I'm concerned that it's going to be very windy so you guys might not even be able to hear me so... Honestly, what can I tell you besides we're in tropical paradise, right? Look at this, so beautiful and today is to be honest my favorite day. It was a little bit too hot these last few days since we have arrived in a way that it's never been that hot before i'll be very honest with you guys all the times that philippe and i have been in maldives together this was definitely the hottest weather so i find it like when it's too hot you almost can't really rest because you know you need a little bit of cloudy weather to be able to kind of say okay now do nothing you know what i mean there's a little baby star it is 5 23 today is the only day by the way that i did a little bit of makeup can you notice it we took some pictures it's quite beautiful like end of the day so it's like sun setting in that direction which is why you can see this shadow here i'm wearing this beautiful insane incredible magda butcher dress gucci uh ancora these like rosso uh sunglasses i really like these sunglasses maybe not for every occasion this bag that I got as a gift. I can't remember when exactly, but I love it. Maybe when we were in New York for Fashion Week. And maybe Filippo will be so kind to show my whole outfit. Can you walk back and show it? I can, but you need to stay still. I need to stay still. Yeah. We are wearing uh, a Magda pink dress. Yeah. We love Magda. Very we love much. Magda team. And then of course we're having a Magda bag. It was a gift from uh, the, yeah. the Maison. Yes. Because I remember. When, do, when did we get it? At the Magda dinner in New York. Correct. Yeah. And then we wearing the Gucci Ancora. Oh, Not we were... Ancora, which is a different uh, word. It's Ancora. Filippo has a meeting in like Four and a half minutes. Baby I think when you and I are vlogging together, it's not like a, what 
Guys, don't you feel like don't you feel like jumping in this water? Guys, it's 6 a.m. and just like that, our Maldivian vacation is coming to the end, which is okay because we really really rested. We had wonderful wonderful time. Both Filippo and I are saying that it was a, just such a lovely break. It's kind of crazy actually that I'm now in a pair of jeans and my in my gazelle sneakers and jeans in Maldives. I've never been in Maldives before. My travel bag is this one. Filippo is carrying my Margot from the row, but this one, Elan, is so perfect because it actually fits my passport, wallet, phone. Like it's kind of that perfect shoulder bag sort of like a mini kelly but fits even more when i traveled here i traveled with a mini kelly with my blue broom but now on the way back with the elan and i'm kind of figuring out what works best for me which is quite nice let me just show you a few things so gorgeous i think i lost filippo somewhere so peaceful in the morning 6 a.m thank you for taking care of me we're on the plane guys first flight this is my travel look. I tried the best job that I could to make my hair look less. I'm coming back from holidays as less as possible, but I'll be very honest, it's not so easy. The flight, I think first flight's gonna be around three to four hours. I'm gonna vlog now before it gets very loud, but I wanted to give you a little tour of our seat because this is, I think, I believe this is the new Qatar Airways. This is the first class, so I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's very spacious, and we sit 1A. This uh, beauty bag is from Anya Heinmark, and it has two sections. This is my kind of skincare and essentials, and this is the makeup that I've used actually for the makeup look today that, I'm, that you can see right now. Westman Atelier uh, Blushing Petal, the milk, tiny little um, bronzing stick, iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, Prada Beauty, my nude lipstick that I like. This is the Dior Beauty Shiny Drops Road Lip Gloss, and this is just a brush from Our Glass. I'll link all these products below. And on this side, I have, well, you can see what I have pretty much. He's not the same person. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> no. Is it true? <laughs> no. What do you mean no? If okay, he doesn't okay, get okay. full no. amount of sleep, which is six hours plus. No, uh, like seven plus. Seven plus. Seven, you can eight. do everything same as you do every other day. But no more than eight. But I it's never, not gonna be okay. But I never sleep more than seven and eight hours, but if I sleep less, uh, he's not that I'm uh, grumpy. I'm just a little bit... Uh... I beg to differ. No. I disagree. All I'm gonna say is that I'm a very patient woman on the days that he didn't get enough sleep. Yes. A saint. If I sleep less, which it happens sometimes because we travel a lot, I'm just a little bit more solitary. Which is something you're not happy to deal with. Just to explain you also uh, Filippo's reflection on himself, a little bit more solitary. So he wanted to leave the lounge to have a walk around. And I said, no problem, baby. You go, leave all of your stuff, I'll stay in the lounge because I'm very happy to stay in the lounge. And he said, no, 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 I want you to come with me. And enjoy? I said, no, because I want to stay in the lounge and work and you can go and have a walk and, and I can look after all the things. And, why and he said, no, I don't want to go alone. I only want to go with you. And yeah. guess what? I did. Yeah, did but, I come with you? But did I, did I see you stay here if you want? But you, yes, I, you and I said I want to stay. No, and then you said, no, no I want no. you to come with me. But Nifa, you're many how things, do, but you're not you a liar. Your country? Like that? Yeah? Yes. Opa. I think it's in every country you say yeah. it like that, yeah. I'll also be honest, when I'm in a grumpy mood, I think I'm worse. When I'm grumpy, I think I'm worse than Filippo. But I'm grumpy only for more important reasons. Long story short, we are actually boarding our flight to Milan, which is our last leg on the way back. I think I'm more tanned than when we were coming here. And 
we're home you guys i actually um had one day off from vlogging between what you've seen and between today i just needed that day to kind of organize myself unpack repack all those like good things there's no repacking actually i'm like staying at home which is great I wash my hair like do that everything shower i was like dying for that everything shower after the travel i had a really good time i feel like this maldives vlog was very different from any other maldives vlog that we've done before we mainly usually vlogged kind of like everything that happens in a day in this video i just felt like first of all i really wanted to rest without creating much content but at the same time i love creating content so we did that mostly chat filippo and i which i hope was interesting to you guys in a way um, at the same time there are many other maldives vlogs that you can watch from me previously in case you are curious about what it looks like over there what kind of vacation you can expect in case you are going to maldives so i hope that there's a nice little balance on it, of everything the thing like with my channel is because we do a lot of similar things every year like you know there's always like a new york fashion week actually twice a year in fact so i always try to somehow make it different than the previous one like if there's a maldives vlog again this year and there was another one like six months ago then i'll try to make it a little bit different so again you can have even if it's like from the same place you can have different kind of content and that's that i will leave you guys here i think this video is already long enough and i have a ton of other stuff to film and show which i'm gonna start doing right away as soon as i've done a bit of makeup because right now i'm just very barefaced and thank you so much for following along for coming to maldives with us and i'll see you in my next one bye guys